Hey guys, welcome back to Green Tea Garden. So I'm in, I'm outdoor right now in the garden, and um, I'm basically gonna harvest two of my speckle uh, swan gourd. So I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Um, if you guys, if you guys are growing swan gourd or any bottle gourd, swan gourd, bottle gourd, speckle or not speckle, they're the same thing. Uh, they're really, really heavy feeder guys, and they grow and take over your whole garden. They take a long time to grow, but once they start producing, they produce really fast. The, the fruit grows really fast. So, this is whatever left of the garden. This guy is always trying to get in there. I'll show you guys right here. So, as you could see, this is one right here. And it's a smaller one, but you could see it's still shape as the swan gourd. And you could basically see this is how the leaves look. So if you guys are growing it or you want to grow it, swan gourd will run. Like, you see, that's the main stem coming right there. And then they'll they'll branch off, kind of like a new growth. So And then you come over here, look. Look at the distance, probably a feet. There's one growth. There's another one coming here, a new piece. And they will just, like, like, it will run straight and then it will just grow like this. So literally, this swan gourd came from all the way back there. It's, you know, over 10 feet going already. And it's going to grow. It's not going to stop. And it's really good in the fall weather too. The colder weather for me, um, they definitely grow better. So when to harvest your, your swan gourd is when you see it's full size looking like a swan or shaped. And then what do you do? You turn it around. And if you start seeing that white or yellow spot, that's an indication it's ready. Or if you see the green is getting a dull color, uh, that's it right in. You come right here and you snap that. So this is one and I have another one over here. So they grow all different size and stuff. So you could see this is the main, the main branch coming here. And this is the main one, but then it branch off over here. And then from this branch off, this one branch off again. So literally, I'm telling you, they could take over your whole garden. And another thing, they're heavy feeder, guys. So, beautiful speckle swan gourd. So, so the reason you can see why they call it speckle, because of these white dots, speckle dots on them. That's why the regular one is just uh, a lighter green. And those are called bottle gourd. When you plant bottle gourd or swan gourd, make sure you have big space in your garden. They run or they could climb. If they, if you're going to grow them vertically to climb, you got to make sure that whatever you're using, it's really strong. Because they're heavy and they grow a lot, so they might pull it down. So that's why I just let them run downward and they just run on the ground for now until I could build a strong trellis for it. Once you start growing and producing the gourd, you got to start fertilizing them. So you need like organic fertilizer um, or fresh soil and you got to do it almost every week because they grow a lot and they take over, as I said, your whole garden basically. Uh, you could grill them, you could stir fry them, they're really, really delicious. You could also prune them. Like when they're growing straight and they're branching off, you could take out a couple of the, the extension part from it. It's now starting getting hot. It was chilly this morning, but now the weather started getting hot. So I just wanted to make this video, guys, to show you real quick. Uh, speckle swan gourd. All right, guys. Any more question? Uh, comment below. I'm gonna leave the seed. I got the seed from Amazon. I'm gonna leave it in the description box. Check below. I have the. I'll leave the link for there. Please subscribe. It's 100% free. Every time you guys click the bell icon, you'll get the video right away. And thank you guys for everyone who's been watching and supporting Green Tea Garden. I really appreciate your support, guys. And I'll see you next time.